Hello and welcome back to Surviving Mars. We finished on this screen on the last episode and I want to get back straight into it because we researched the Martian vegetation and we have unlocked a bunch of things for the terraform project. So I don't know yet if we're going to start terraforming on this episode or if we should look into the rare metal structure first. It seems like Doing terraforming will consume a lot of research and, well, we will have to see how we go. But anyway, congratulations, you have successfully made the first step towards turning Mars into a lush green heaven. You have unlocked the seeds resource that can be imported from Earth. Seeds are stored into specialized storage and used by forestation plants and open farms for planting vegetation outside the domes. Most plants require some terraforming progress to be made. Check out the atmosphere, temperature, surface, water, and the vegetation coverage in the planetary view. Improving these terraforming parameters will improve the productivity of some buildings, decrease the severity of disasters, and ultimately may render Mars lush, breathable, and covered with liquid water. Nice. Now, buildings. Um, construct them to consume seeds, affect the local soil quality and vegetation, and to increase the four global terraforming parameters atmosphere, temperature, water, and vegetation. And check the terraforming build menu section. All right. Um, vegetation. Vegetation parameter represents the spreading and diversity of vegetation and bacterial life on a planetary scale. Its improvement, its improvement boosts local vegetation growth, speed, and spread. Vegetation is increased by working forestation plants and by completing special projects. And seeds. So, a new resource which can improve local soil quality and the global vegetation parameter. Can import seeds from Earth or grow them in farms. That's fantastic. What is the well, planetary view? Overall terraforming progress, of course. That is nothing in there. If we go into this terraforming, we do have forestation plants, um, but these. Oh, that's actually. So let me read this. Consume seeds to plant wild vegetation, increase local soil quality. Plants will wither or grow according to local soil quality and global temperature and water improves global vegetation if it's less than 40%. Doesn't work during the storms and toxic rains. We don't have water or even temperature right now. So maybe we should start with the greenhouse grass factory, which burns a mixture of fuel and locally extracted carbon to release greenhouse gases, effectively improving the global temperature. Has significantly boosted terraforming effects at low temperature and plus 0 0.25 per soul and capital city not yet but yeah greenhouse gas looks like what do we need to do we can actually build two together there we we'll need a straight cable connection all right i'll do it in here why not so we do have our greenhouse and it's waiting for one fuel to work. Which then, well, we do have fuel in here, so it shouldn't be a real problem. These need to bring polymers. We do have a polymer depot in here. What about is this? So I might actually bring you in here you have like polymers how much do we need just 10 you know what i'll i'll let it unload all of this in here that is fine now i'm trying to find some metal around here just so we can easily get it but is this some metal no it's not 
I always think these rocks are metal, but we do have some in here. We have more in there, actually. So let me send you there. Get metal and bring it back here. Why not? Oh, I've clicked on it. No, metal. Go back there. There we go. And let you go. So this is not working because we need... Yeah, we need more machine parts. So, sorry, before you do that, let's load whatever machine parts in there and then we'll bring it, bring it all the way over here. Have some metal that we are not using in here. And waste rock as well. Yeah, we definitely don't need that. But we'll see how this goes. I think we are doing well so far, which is really good. This building, by the way, is waiting for, um, what's that called? Rare, mate rare, rare metals, <laughs> which is what we are trying to do here, which we might be able to do. Let's see if I, I'll manage that. Um, rare metal extractor. Too far away from drone commander let me send you over there that there oh just just right all right i'll build this right here and we'll see how this goes why it doesn't have any power we don't have cables in there Let's take a look at that. Cables. I'll see if this... Yeah, that's enough to get in power. That is good. Why I have a pipe in here is beyond me, but <laughs> I'll allow that. We did more machine parts in there. Which is basically, oh, talking about machine parts. Where's our RC transport? So let's unload this in here. Treasure hunt. It's a map. After quite a hassle with the strange coding, your scientists managed to decode the message from the strange pod. It's a map. A new planetary anomaly has been discovered. X marks the spot. Send expedition on the coordinates. Oh, right. I like that. We just need to bring the rocket back then. And I feel like we need more machine parts. I have electronics, but are we building any machines? I don't think we are. Oh, I got another basic drone prefab. And the new colonists have arrived. Yay! Good. So we now we still have nine, two actually residential slots available, which is good. Some works available. We have everyone we need for everything. That's good. Talk about factories. We need machines, right? Machines? No, what is this? Yeah, machine parts. This is electronics. So we need electronic to make machines and to maintain that. I could actually build this over here. And we got some food as well. Again, we are really doing well in food which is quite good. I will well unlock that one and then start moving further away. And then going into research, we have almost all slots ready. So, mm, 
we could do more of that. But I feel like I want to do the positronic brain. And then we do the Sterling generator, a lot more power, which is really good. Then micro manufacturing. Produce electronics from rare materials. I'll get some social points in there as well, just to make sure that we are progressing. Oh, I saw one thing that I forgot to mention. Now, what is that? Um, this one. Water reclamation system that recycles 70% of the water used in the dome. I want to build this in here. And I want to build another one. What's the other option in there? Medical center. All right, but I want to do this in here as well. That'll be really helpful as we go. Great, how's this going? All working, all right. And oh, temperature is rising. 30 engineers applicants, good. We got one basic dome prefab, five free supply plots, which I haven't used yet. 30 engineer applicants. Now we need to generate more research per soul, which now makes me wonder. We do have three scientists available, and we are not using them like anywhere, right? We, well, this is a house, nursery, infirmary, dinner, grocer, space bar, school. I wonder if we should do a research center, like build this, electronics, space bar, where is that? Research lab. We don't have one yet. No, we don't. Okay, I will build this right here. And then scientists can go and work in there, which would be quite good. Now, power issues again, we can... The upgrade is already there. We haven't done for those yet, so let's do it. Or atomic accumulator, 2,000 capacity, that's awesome. That's really good. <laughs> so I guess we are fine with power at the moment. Although we are not producing as much as we should. But I think during the day, we might be okay with the solar panels. Which we can't upgrade yet. But there are a lot more buildings working throughout the day so one new anomaly all right let's send or commander no the yeah the explorer there we go that'll be good now power oh this probably consumes a lot of power as well yeah, it consumes 10 power. Do I have more of those Stirling generators? Base production. I might get a resupply rocket. Or can I do... There we go. This would be a free rocket, so I'll definitely do that. Back in 10 out of 10, launch. And then I might, I don't know if that'll be too much, but I think I'll do another one. Supply, Sterling. And then back and launch. 
There we go. They're coming. So we'll be all good there. I wonder if another sensor like this would be good. Although what we need the most is actually power, right? So not so sure. I might do like a group of steel generators in here, another one over there to see how that goes. Um, they can require drones, we need metals in here. What is our RC Explorer? You are analyzing. You, my friend, need to bring metals in there. So load metals to here so we can repair stuff. And we need to build the metal thing over there as well. So, yeah, let's drop it in there. What is that? Extractor AI. Metal extractor and rare metal extractor can work without quills at 50 performance. Nice. I definitely want that. <laughs> let's go straight into it. And then this one, well, I'll really send it there, salvage this, and probably salvage that. And then we can build the stealing generators. As I mentioned, probably good to four over here. Let's do five in there, and we still have one. Yeah, I should have done that one over there, but anyway, it's fine. We'll survive. What I do here, build this, and this, and then we finalize with this one. Yeah, you didn't need to redo all of this, did you? There go some metals so we can repair this, finally arriving. And there you go. That's what I need. Good. We still need machine parts for here. I definitely need another one of those. Let's get RC transport. We have more pods, don't we? RC transports. If I get one, yeah, that's all we can have. So there we go. And then we can optimize a few things in here. That'll be really helpful. And power is finally doing good. Which then makes me feel like we need another one of those. Just there. Which building isn't working? Uh, probably, yeah, storage full. And then everything is going like so fast. Pretty good. Love it. Can we outsource more if I select the right option? Yes, I can. So we can speed this up as well. And we can select something else in here. I think I'll go for the electronics factory. That'll be helpful, I believe. All right, are you doing anything at the moment? No, it seems that you've finished doing what you were doing. So I'll actually get some um, machine parts. Let's go load machine parts. We definitely need that. We definitely need that. All right, our pod with another one of those is here, finally. We need drones closer by this area. 
what I think I'll do, I'll just move this over there and then I'll move it back when we're done. Then I'll salvage these. Yeah, those drones will take care of that. It's good to go. A little bit over there, yeah. We'll be within reach. There we go. This is all done. And then I'll move you back over here, I guess. I just move outside of the deposit there. <laughs> Thank you. And all right, then you can unload in here. Cool. And now we have another one, which we can try to find some more metal. Ooh, there we go. Let's load you with all this metal that I found around here. And now I'm lost because I can barely see it. I think it was here metal and then all the way back i know that is pretty far away but at least we have one of those going back and forth making sure that we have all the resources that we might need over there and we are low on resources as well so it makes sense to me then we might be able to send on another expedition which we haven't looked at that Ooh, multiple uses for this project. So, launch a satellite. This one capture meteors. The meteor shower falls over a random location and may threaten the colony. I feel like I will start with this one. Just because, well, I. I know the more we grow the colony, the riskier it gets for us to trigger a meteor shower where we, we shouldn't, basically. So it's better to do that at the beginning than at the, the end there. Yeah. So I think that, for me, it makes more sense. We still need one more machine part. I might cancel this one and send you, I don't know, maybe there, machine parts into here. That's weird, really weird. Martian education is complete. Ooh. <laughs> The good thing about meteors is that they bring some metals alongside, which we do, by the way, have a few in here. We might be closer than sending all the way over there. And what are you doing here? Is this? No, this is a vista. Do we have another anomaly? No, we don't. So I might just send you back here. somewhere around here why not and then how is power now Ooh, six thousand store fantastic all right doesn't seem like we have power issues anymore which is really really good and i love that water we have enough that's good all right i think we we are okay um okay we might need drones in here now that'll be tricky as let me see we have this one which is the only one we have then we have the commander, which is there. We have a commander and another commander. All right. Although we have like a 
days operation for drones or something like that. I think we do have that. Power switch, power cables. This is power. We have a drone assembler, but that's not what we want. Um, fungal farm, water, moxie. Dumping sites. It's pretty sure that we had like a structure that we could use as a base of operations for draw. I might be wrong though. I'm not really sure. We have a few moisture evaporator drone hub. There you go. How can I build a drone hub? Of course, right in front of me. So let's do it right here, really. That would, well, attend all this area. That's what we need. Let's do it. So what do we need here? We need metal and electronics. What do we need here? We need people. And what do we need here? We need concrete. So I guess you will bring us some more concrete. There we go. Okay, we need electronics in this area. And we don't have any nearby. Like, to be honest, let me load electronics as well. Now you're done. All right. We will wait for you to finish and then we load electronics in there. And then we will have like drones doing maintenance on the Sterling generator in here, which will be quite useful for us, I believe. But for the moment, I think that'll be all for this episode. At least we have, well, these buildings. Oh, hold up. I done it wrong. So go there, electronics and unload here. Good, we do have electronics in there. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. We've managed to launch a new mission. We managed to improve our power and got some more resources finished. All this dome as well and the metal, rare metal extractor. Which, by the way, we might need to build a, uh, what's it called? Apartment complex, I believe. This gives me grant less comfort during rest. This, all right, recover fast, but less people in there, which I would be fine with, I would say. My only problem there is that we don't have connection to other domes, but I think, you know what? Let's go for it. We'll need people here to work in there and probably work on this metal extractor in here as well. So yeah, I think that's all we need. There we go. This is working. Yay. But as I mentioned, thanks for watching. Please leave me comments. Um, I will wait to record any other new episodes now until I get some of your feedback. So I'll look into that get into it, make sure that we are doing and building what we need, and then we'll come back to this. But just before I leave, let me do one thing here. I want you to do this one, uh, landscaping, discover anomalies, and landscaping, I, I need something for water actually. Well, maybe vegetation grows faster. That'd be really good. 
and then we focus all on these projects. We're still outsourcing, so which is all right. And yeah, then we are done. So thank you a lot, and I hopefully will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.